guys. So it's been a while since I've done a live video and I'm going to work on a canvas and so I thought I would just hop on live and do it with you. So I hope some of you are around. Let me get my colors ready while I'm waiting. Actually, I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'm just going to do, um, I have some 8x10 canvas sizes. I bought a big pack like during the holidays when they were all on sale. Hey, Shree! I'm glad you're here. Um, let's see. Wait, this one over um, so I've been kind of playing around with the acrylic paints um, and the canvases, and it's actually really fun and quite relaxing. Way more than I thought it was going to be. More than tumblers. <laughs> Um, and you can get some really cool different effects and looks for them. So the look I am trying today, I'm using a blow dryer to do it with. And we're going to see how this comes out. So, hey Megan, I'm glad you guys are here. Okay, so um, one of the colors I'm going to use is just a basic white acrylic paint. And we're probably going to use more white than any other color. So we're going to fill that up pretty, pretty far right there. All right, the other colors I'm going to use are, what's the name, burnt orange. This is the next color. All right, I'm just going to get my little medicine cups, and I'm going to pour um, maybe about halfway up of each of the colors. My daughter's getting in the snack cabinet. Don't mind the squeaking. Okay. The next color is a rich espresso. This is a metallic, so I think this will come out pretty cool. Well, in my head, this comes out pretty cool. Anyways. Mm. All right. That is pretty cool. I don't know if you can kind of see, like it's shiny. It's kind of like a, a rusty penny almost. All right, this one was one of my favorite ones that I just got. So I'm super excited about this one. It's Peacock Pearl, and this is also a metallic. So I think the two metallics will go really pretty together and complementing the other ones. This is like a really pretty teal. That would work actually great. Isn't it pretty? This would work really good for um, an ocean one. And I find I tend to lean towards blues and greens when I do things like this. So I have to try to get myself out of that comfort zone. So I got some reds and blacks and pinks and corals. And then this one. Oh, I didn't tell you what this one is. This one is bluegrass green. So acrylic paint, you know, you can find anywhere. Joann's and Michael's. I found these at our local hardware store. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I have some water in this cup. And I'm going to water down my paint a little bit. If you've done um, a dirty pour, then you've done this process before where you've watered it down. Um, you just want your paint to flow a little bit easier. Don't overwater it. Um, pretty, huh? I'm hoping in my head all of these go really well together. This may be an epic fail. Who knows? So you're all going to learn with me here. Okay. So I'm just mixing a little bit of water into each one. That way when you get your paint on your canvas or on your cup or whatever you're doing it on, it's going to flow a little bit easier. And there is something called, I want to say, uh, oh, the name is, is blanking on me right now. Not cellulite. That's not the right word. <laughs> Um, that you can add to it and it adds cells, which are um, not really bubbles, but they kind of look almost like bubbles when you're painting and they actually look pretty cool. Um, but that's a separate thing that you would add to your paint. And they have that, they'll have that at craft stores too, Amazon, anywhere like that. Okay, so you want your paint to kind of flow nicely like that. Almost done. And then we'll get to the fun. Did you guys all have a good new year? Oh, and while I have you, before we get started on this, 
If you haven't joined my group, join my group um, on Facebook yet. I have a big announcement that I will be talking about tonight. I will be live in my group at 7 o'clock tonight. And just a really fun new announcement, some new things that will be happening in the group this year. So if you haven't joined yet, we'd love to have you. Uh, alcohol, no, these are acrylic paints that I'm just kind of adding water to to kind of water them down a little bit. Is that what you're asking? Ooh, that one's a little full. Okay, this is the last one and then we'll go ahead and start. My daughter's getting into all my cups. You can hear the clinging. <laughs> Okay, so some of the other things that you'll need, I use a drip pan um, or, you know, plastic or whatever, um, because you're going to want the paint, the paint's going to run off your canvas, so you're going to need somewhere to catch that paint. And I'm working on a video right now, actually, on a dirty pour. Um, it's a dirty pour geo cup, and I'm almost done. I should have it up in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow if things go well. Oh. Oh no, no. It's something. Um, it's not cellulite. It's um. When I remember the name, I'll post yeah. it below in the comments yeah. for you guys. It's not alcohol yeah. ink. Um, yeah. I believe it's clear. Yeah. Hi, baby. Um, I believe it's clear, and it's something that you drop in. You just put one or two drops. Silicone. Thank you. I knew somebody was gonna get it. Yes. You drop a couple drops of silicone. Um, it'll create cells, <clears throat> which gives it a really cool look. So, all right, we need a glove and our canvas. Okay, so I just have my canvas here. I put it on a box right here. This is an old box um, because our paint is going to flow off of our canvas. It's not going to stay. It's a messy process. I will not lie. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some white and kind of spread some white around and then we're going to drop the colors. I'm actually going to drop them in the center and then we're going to blow them out. And in theory, this should come out cool. Okay. I'm just going to spread it with my finger. You don't have to wear a glove, but I don't necessarily like getting globs of paint on me. I don't mind some paint. And just kind of get a good coverage. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. And you can get some really cool waves. Um, I'm actually working on a couple of beach tumblers right now where I drop the white alcohol ink and blew it with a silicone straw. And you get some really cool wave effects with that. I did a beach one a few months ago, um, and it came out pretty cool. The only difference I did, um, I used epoxy and kind of layered them and then blew them out that way, and it came out pretty cool, and it looked like waves. You can get some really cool effects with this. It's really fun to do. Okay. So we got a good coverage. Just trying to get some of the sides, smooth it out. If you ask me a question and I don't answer, ask me again because I'm kind of looking at the painting and I keep forgetting to look, so don't mind me. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... I'm going to drop a little bit in the center here. It's just the white. And now I'm going to get my colors and I'm going to kind of fan them out a little bit. No rhyme or reason, I'm just... Okay. 
And we're going to add some of this metallic brown. Hi, baby. All right, and we're going to grab the teal. Yellow would probably be pretty in this too. All right, then we're gonna drop some orange. All right. And then we're gonna go around these colors with the white. So I'm going to take my glove off because I'm not using an art hair dryer and I don't want to get paint all over it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fan in first and then kind of fan out. We're going to see how this goes. And Lord willing, I don't blow paint everywhere. You can kind of see, I think if you guys can see right here, see how it starts to bubble up a little bit? Those are um, the cells I was talking about. It kind of gives that look. And so what you can do from here, you can either A, leave it, or you can kind of keep playing around with it. I'm gonna blow a little bit more out here. I love how this is looking right in here. It almost looks like a wave. And then just kind of keep playing around with it. But they're really fun to do. And I love that every, every one of them comes out differently. Can you guys see that okay? I don't know. Sorry, I don't have the best camera angle, but it looks really cool. You can kind of see here what I was talking about where it's just going to drip on the sides and that's okay. That's what, kind of what you want. I love this right here where the cells came out. I'm going to try to blow it a little bit more over the edge. Like I said, if you want to just kind of keep playing around with it, you can keep playing around with it. I'm going to get the, just the edge of my glove and kind of just go a little bit around the edge and cover up some of that white. These colors came out better than I thought. I'm telling you, if you guys haven't tried this yet, you have to. It's really fun. You can also do um, dirty pours on your canvases, but I've done some of those as well. You can kind of start and do your dirty pour down here on the corner, and you can kind of blow it out that way. 
You can use a silicone straw and blow it out that way. You don't have to use a blow dryer. You can just do a dirty pour and kind of move it around. You can incorporate some glitter. I'm just trying to cover up just a little bit of the white edges. That's all. And it is going to take a while to dry. Where I am here, well, most of you know by now, I'm in California area, so right now it's actually pretty nice. It's pretty sunny out, but um, it's been a little chilly, so this is probably going to take a couple days to dry. And I like this little bit of the white corner. Gives it some contrast, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. And that's it. So you could you could even add once this is dry, you could add some vinyl writing on there, um, or some kind of image. You could seal this with epoxy and do um, another coat of epoxy, which I'll probably do, um, just to make sure it's all sealed and everything. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Have fun with it. I still have more paint, so I may even do another one because I have it out and they all come out differently. Actually, I think I'll do that because I'm not about to waste paint, so I think I'll do two different colors and maybe, I don't know, maybe do some color here and some color here and blow it in the middle. What do you think? Anybody want to see it? Hold on, I only brought one glove in. Cool, cool. And that's it. That's all she wrote. You guys have any questions? <laughs> Zoe, yes, you have questions, or Zoe, you want to see the other one that I'm going to do? See another? Okay. All right, be patient with me. Let me go grab another canvas. Hang tight, guys. Move this guy. All right. All right, guys, round two. Ready? Let's see how this one will go. And I don't have another glove, so I'm going to get paint on. That's okay. All right. I'm going to use... Actually... All right. So we have enough white paint. I'm going to pour the white paint back on. Tilting a little bit. All right. I'm just trying to not get it on my hands as much. Emma, Emma. She sees our dog out the back door. And if you have like one of those little artist spatulas, this works good for this too. Rather than a popsicle stick, I'm just trying not to get it on my hands because I gotta touch the blow dryer. And this is like adding the white is kind of like um, if you've done the Milky Way tumblers and how you add like that first coat of epoxy. Hi! Um, just to kind of get your colors flowing and your inks and stuff like that. This is kind of what the base paint of the white does. I swear usually I'm not that picky about my hands. <laughs> if 
Okay, I already get glitter everywhere, and if I get paint everywhere, my boys are going to kill me. to mix a little bit more of the white. Alright, while I'm mixing white, tell me tell me about your New Year's. Who stayed in? Who went out? We stayed in because it's my husband's birthday. And it is a nightmare to try to find a sitter on New Year's Eve. So generally speaking, we don't ever get to do anything on this birthday because it's way too hard. But we stayed in and like a bunch of old folks, we were <laughs> asleep by 10 o'clock. So we were quite the party animals as you can imagine. All right. It is, it scares me. And we live by um, a casino, not necessarily by choice, but it's just kind of how it happened. and. There's just so many people who drive like maniacs on a regular basis and then give it to New Year's and we live um, by an Indian reservation as well. So they tend to shoot off a lot of gunshots when they should not and it's just quite dangerous. So I'm with you on that one. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and come. I'm going to come from each corner from the top and the bottom. to do each side a little different so they don't come out like not that they would really come out the same no um, so once I get enough paint on here and start kind of blowing it out it'll all start to smooth out a little bit it won't it's not gonna be completely smooth um, but that's another reason why I will tend to add the um, layer of epoxy it will give it a little bit smoother finish and just kind of looks a lot nicer once it's done and it protects it. So, um, I haven't really done this on a tumbler. You could do with alcohol inks. And I can do a video on it if you want. <laughs> um, where you can blow alcohol inks kind of up from the bottom. Does that make sense? I can do a video, it's kind of easier to show you. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit more white around here, some more white around here. Alright. Okay, here we go, let's see how it goes. It's loud. Alright. 
So we have it there and I'm going to go around the same thing, go around the edges a little bit. I just watched a video on someone who did this on a three foot by three foot canvas. That sort of was huge, but it came out pretty cool. These will probably be posted on my website too. So if anybody likes them, probably next week sometime I'll have them up there. Pretty cool, huh? I love the way these cut the the copper and the teal with that pop of orange. It looks really cool. This almost looks kind of like waves splashing up. Super super cool. I'm gonna add a little bit of white here because I can still see some of the canvas. And just kind of keep playing around with it. The glorious part is you can't mess it up. Although, I lied. So I did one, and it was kind of looking like a peacock feather, and it was looking really, really cool. Um, and then it was drying. I actually had it sitting out drying in the sun and my sweet little innocent daughter walked right into it. So <laughs> there's a big footprint right in the middle of the painting. Teach me to put it on the floor, huh? All right, so I'm going to blow a little bit more just right in here. kind of really liking the texture here so this one is bumpy you can kind of see grooves almost like waves that are kind of coming through the painting the texture is actually kind of cool and what you could do even is you can kind of hang them next to each other and have like a set since they are the same colors. All right. I hope you guys like this little impromptu tutorial. Thank you. All right. So now I'm going to patiently let this dry. I'm not necessarily the most patient person when it comes to that, but I'm going to let these dry and go from there. So um, like I said earlier, if you haven't joined my group yet um, and you are on Facebook, definitely try. Oh, you're welcome. Let me know how it turns out. They're a lot of fun. One thing I've learned is don't be afraid of color. Don't be afraid of mixing colors, even colors that you're not sure that will go. Don't be afraid to mix the colors because it comes out really cool because they end up blending together to make different colors. So don't be afraid of that. But yeah, definitely um, show us what you make. Um, oh, like I was saying, so if you are on Facebook, um, if you join my group tonight at 7, I will be going live. Um, you can find me under Carly's Creations, same title, uh, same name, excuse me, as my YouTube channel. Um, I have a Facebook page for my business and then I have a group which is Carly's Creations Tumblers and More. And I just started the group not long ago but we're almost 250 members and it's growing and it's fun and there's just a really great group of 
crafters in there and it's all different kind of crafters so if you're a painter if you do tumblers if you do soap making if you sew things any any kind of craft the more the i know the more the merrier because it's fun to see what everybody does so um but i will be doing a big announcement um tonight so if you can join me i'd love to have you and i'll be doing some special things with the group as well and that's it so i hope you guys can find me on there and i will have the next tutorial out probably let's see today's sunday probably by the end of this week at the latest and that one is on a dirty pour geo um glitter tumbler so that one's coming up pretty cool i think i may keep it as my personal cup because i've been needing a coffee cup for myself so i may just keep it because what's the fun in doing all this if you can't keep half the stuff right so all right well i hope to see you guys in the group and i will see you soon you're welcome zoe talk to you guys soon